Being in egg or prom should be close enough, right? Hopefully. Um, possibly. Oh, wow, it's just like all the other duty settlements. They all start with a pile of corpses and blood. Time is money, so start talking. And the NPP theme, of course. So let's have a chat with the squad leader. Okay, sure, I'll pick that up and do it later. Though I... It kind of looks like you've got yourself a scoped abacond right there. So let's just have a look. It's... Oh, it's right there. Wow. <laughs> so you mean you couldn't just walk but for like five minutes and pick it up yourself? Really, man? Let's talk to the other squad later. Maybe he's got something else. Afraid not. So let's do this little bit of a <laughs> bandits in the dead end tunnel. You know what? Let's kill them, cause screw bandits. Then pick that do that little side job. Then we'll go see about joining duty. See what we gotta do to do that. All for the sake of variety, right? I have to say again, um, in all honesty, what the hell, what? Um, uh, game, what are you doing? I could have sworn I swip, sw switched to this set of rounds just to use up the cheap stuff first. And it keeps going back to, uh, keeps going to between yellow and black. Why is it ignoring this? Okay, let's... Whatever, then. Yeah, I've, I've got to say again. Just the differences between the clear sky maps and the Shadow of Chernobyl ones are just strange. I have ten grenades. Why am I not switching to them? Weird. It's mainly the uh, the idea of where did all this stuff go between now and uh, Mocked One's adventures. You don't give me long. I you know, don't give me long. <laughs> Reverse English. You don't give me wrong. I actually like you know how these variations of the uh, levels look. It's just you know where did all this stuff go? How did all this stuff change? Uh, I. Thanks, game. I don't think simply saying, it's the zone, suffices. Oh, let's just take the ammo as well. well. Why not? The ammo I know I can sell. The weapons and everything else, not so much. Might have to do a little saving and reloading <laughs> at any rate to get the uh, grenades to work. Oh, okay, and now I can switch to them. You know, after the battle's over and the point where they're useful ceases to be. There we go with that perpetual walking animation for whatever reason. Whatever is causing that. Uh, if only people would buy those weapons. Be making a fortune. I mean, it's not like people wouldn't want to buy them anyway. They're actually pretty decent, surprisingly. There's my detector. 
Oh no, that's not an anomaly. I thought I saw one right there. It's just blurry uh, shadows in the distance. I do still want to check out what's up there, but probably not now. If I remember right, you take a lot of damage going up the ladder because of the anomaly that's right there. No artifacts in the area either, so... No point in going. It's really just what's on the guy's corpse that's remotely important. In vanilla, I think it's a bandage, maybe some medkits and anti-rads. I don't know what they've got in there for this, uh, this mod. You got something to say, say it. Hello. I yeah, I know, man. That, that, that bus is very dangerous. You gotta keep your eye on it, I'm you know? Oh, bandits are doing their, putting their meaningless lives at risk, attacking the base again. Okay, this is in the building anyway. Oh, you guys are going to have to take care of that yourself. I'm too far away. I have to deal with this one. When I can. There's nothing else to... Uh... You see, this is why the stalkers always have trouble defending this area. These guys are just sitting here playing the guitars, eating their sausages. Well, one squad has to deal with everything else. Task failure? Yeah, see? Exactly as I said, if those guys would actually move up and start helping, this wouldn't be an issue. I have a few more. I know you guys like these things. Don't want to waste F1s that much. Okay, I guess these this guys hit the car are a lot better than the guys defending this. Am I seriously not hitting this guy? What is it? Is a shrubbery blocking shots or something there? No. What, really? Is this a bandit? Are you fucking people seriously just sitting there as a bandit walks through your camp? God, they must be drunk out of their minds. You know, I'm glad I'm leaving the stalker faction if this is, <laughs> if this is the level of confidence I can expect from my uh, so-called friends. Hey, idiot, we're being shot at. Let's just watch this. There's actually a guy right up there. Wow. Just... Wow. No, no clipping allowed, asshole. It looks like we got a squad loose. This guy over here, he better be in the ground. Uh, what? Typing here is slow because the setup is so. Insane. Wait, what? What? What is this place? What is this place? Where's the entrance to it? Over here? I don't think I've ever been down there. I gotta check that out. I don't think I've ever been down here. So what's the story of this place? What brings you here, Merc? 
I'd like to know what the deal with this area is. Yeah, I, li I like that. I like that. All the talk about leaving behind worldly possessions and weapons and stuff, but still charging me 1,800 rubles for the location of a stash. Yeah, is this an area added in in the mod, or is this something I just have never noticed before? Wow, you got yourself a nice little place down here, buddy. Access to a bunker if... Your magical NPC powers allow you to open the door. It's safety from blowouts, safety from mutants. It's a nice little place. And there's a, still a bandit inside the stalker bait. Climb up the ladder. Come on. It's not that hard. Still a bandit inside the base. Mostly doing this just to use up the uh, dart rounds because I don't feel like uh, selling them. Just in case there's somebody just sitting around out here that'd rather not be uh, dying while looting the bodies. Oh, the loners here did a really good job. We'll say for a woman. Presents its wealth and debris captured. When enacted, it will look and start and look for the very wench. Not be that women do not find in any hook or something. Oh yes, the loot, it's overwhelming. Lee awful. Yes, I think we heard it the first time, guy. Hmm, so where was that stash? There it is. Cannot be that woman did not find in any nook. After all, three must vodistia, at least one unique. Okay, I, I don't know. I'd have to say, in all honesty, the weakest part of the, about this mod is simply the uh, lacking translation. It's not something I can really fault them too badly for. Because giving a proper translation is, you know, a whole lot of work. You know, it's the sort of thing you usually contract an outside company to do. And machine translations are inherently uh, flawed. Okay, come on. Get your breath so you can crouch lower. Not sure how that works, but... <clears throat> Let's just dump some of this crap off, whatever I can sell. Broken stalker suits, why not? Get rid of all this crap. As with this, 
this worthless grenade. I think that's really all I need to get rid of. Is there anything good? I mean, as long as I'm doing some trading on camera, I may as well be getting something good and worth my money. Like bandages and med kits, you can never have never have enough. Now I just need to find that uh, rifle that's apparently in the middle of the base. Unless it's on top of a building. Please stand aside. Nice to know that somebody apparently fixed this uh, <laughs> fixed this pipe between the two games. Where, where exactly is this thing? Also, I vaguely remember in Clear Sky being able to get on top of that tower. Um, come on, hit the right button for once. I'm not entirely sure how, since clearly the... Uh, all the ladders are unconnected. But I remember, somehow I remember in one of the two games that has this map, being able to climb up to the top of this. What Scar, quit being a wimp. I mean, it's not like that's a full story fall or anything, right? It must be right on the other side of this wall, like right up against the wall. That's the only thing that makes sense. I didn't know this was a container. Must be a mod quest. So, of course, that puts me squarely over encumbered. Fantastic. By the way, I'm keeping the uh, 5.56 ammo in case I run across a 5.56 weapon that I want to use. Hello. You know, I don't remember just how. Whoa. <laughs> I don't remember just how bad this building is in this game. Oh, yep. Yellow right as soon as you walk in the door. That's... <laughs> uh, nice place to avoid. That's uh, about it. Alright, I'm going to see what's in this stash, and then I'll most likely... Ooh. Bunch of boxes that probably have nothing in them. Let's break them all. I don't know it's got f food and an energy drink. That's that's worth a few swipes. The sword. Yeah, I'm gonna check out what's in this stash, and then from there I'll probably just. Travel back, give him the rifle, and head to the duty base off camera because I don't really suspect anything terribly interesting to happen along the way. There it is, just as hard to find as it is in the other game. Okay, come on, give me the right angle. Perfect. Huh. Not too shabby, that artifact. You know, I'd have to give her three kilos worth of stuff for it to be uh, usable. You got something to say, say. I'd have to give her this if I didn't want any radiation.
Yeah, not too bad. 